As members of this tournament's board of directors, Chairman Don Ulrich and Vice Chairman Harry Stadelmeyer have learned through the King himself how teamwork and hospitality can work hand in hand. We couldn't do near as much by separately, but collectively we can help you get, you know, achieve your goals. Uh, and he really appreciates that. Mr. Palmer certainly would appreciate this. As Tiger Woods was commanding attention on the course Thursday, a Vietnam vet enjoying the tournament on the 17th hole handed Harry a rolled up vintage print of Arnold Palmer. Having plucked it from a garbage can at his church near Tampa, he thought maybe by chance if he happened to run into Mr. Palmer today that he might get his signature. And I immediately said, uh, let me have that. Moments later, in his office, Arnold Palmer turned one man's trash into another's treasure. And then the story got better. We missed the gentleman by 10 minutes because he had no idea that I would be able to get this today. I didn't either. And uh, they were already on I-4 and they're going to swing around because uh, we let them know that they forgot something. Matt, it's a red Toyota pickup, not purple. Red Toyota pickup. With a two-cart escort, that red Toyota pickup returned to the 17th hole because James Reagan had forgotten something. I want to make sure that you, uh, oh my goodness. you see this. Oh. We, uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Mr. Palmer has a vision we can do better. That's how, how the hospital got to where they are, and that's why this tournament got to where we are. That was amazing. That was just a witness right there for this place, you know, because they're so cordial and they're so, they're so wonderful out here. You know? And this was the icing on the cake. That was the icing on the cake, sir. It really was. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? One important autograph reminding all of us how the Arnold Palmer Invitational remains Orlando's signature sporting event. From Bay Hill, Pat Clark, West 2 Sports.